Hey everybody, this is Arden and I am here with Martine today. She is one of our sellers on girlswhotravelshop.com and I get the absolute pleasure of talking to her a little <laughs> bit about her shop and what she's selling on the shop and how she makes it. So welcome Martine, thanks for joining me. Hi Arden, how are you? Hi ladies. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, I'm Martine. I'm 35 years old. I have to think about that all the time. <laughs> um, I live in the Netherlands in a, cult, in a town called Alkmaar. It's like 35 minutes north of Amsterdam. We're really famous for our cheese market on Friday. So if you're ever nearby in Alkmaar on a Friday, definitely check that out. It's worth it. So, but it's not going on right now, but maybe after this whole thing, um, yeah, and, and I sew. And you sew. I know you're very crafty. You, you knit and crochet too, right? Yeah, you have a really nice blanket. I um, do. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I don't have it here, but I'm working on a, on a, on like a shawl right now. Nice. And very so nice. It's really nice. It's, um, the girls who travel color. Oh, a lovely nice teal. teal. So. <laughs> Yeah, and your glasses are kind of girls who travel yeah. colored too. <laughs> right? I'm liking it. So, yeah, I like to crochet and I like to do some artsy fartsy stuff with paper as well. But um, for the shop, I'm sewing. Yes. Yeah, so what is it that you are making for the for the shop? At the moment, I have face masks on Fair. there. So I have three designs. Let me take all three of them. Oh, let me see. I need really, because it, I need to have the matching theme, Girls to Travel color as well. Very so nice. I have face masks with a wire. So it's perfect for those who wear glasses so it doesn't fog up. And it's really nice on the side. So it uh, fits really well on your face. You have one too, so you can say I do. it's true or not. <laughs> um, it's double, no filter, because most of the countries don't uh, require a filter anymore. You can wash it on 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know how that is in Fahrenheit, but that's a, like a cold wash. Um, so you can do 40 degrees too. It depends on what your country is um, recommending on washing your mask. Um, yeah, it has straps, you can tie them, what fits for you. But if you ever get one of my masks, tie them quite um, like firmly because otherwise it opens on your face. So I have this really cute like uh, ice cream one. It's perfect yep. for summer. <laughs> I have yoga ones. I love it. Relax. Very nice. We could all use some more relaxation right now. And as we cannot travel for fun, I have some travel masks with the world map love it it has all these different countries so this one has the sahara desert on it and nice. i believe this side is china and here i have one with spain so i have all these ones and if you get a mask for me just let me know if there is a country you specifically would like on there and i will try to see if I have one it's really Find hard it. I have the fabric here and it's very very big <laughs> so sometimes it's really hard to pick out exactly the right country because I have to um how do you say that I have a lot of waste and we don't want waste so um but I will definitely try to see um, if I can find your favorite country. <laughs> nice so. and now you were telling me that you're working on pillows yeah, um, it's not really good timing because my pillowcases are in the laundry. So. <laughs> you have the fabric, right? That's what you were telling me? Yeah, so I have cut out this one. This one is Africa. It cuts out pretty well. Um, this is a 50-50 centimeters, 20-20 inch in inch sizes. Um, it will have double fabric, so it will have either the map or this is really cool. I'm very excited about this. Me too. I got Amsterdam fabric. Yay! 
And I know someone in a moderator team. I was just going to say, I know a moderator who's going to get that. (laughs) And so it will have that on one side. And I have a really nice corduroy in like a off-white that I will put on the other side. And it will have a zipper. So you can easily um, put it in the laundry. It's really handy if you have kids or messy wives or husbands. So (laughs) (laughs) it's really good. And um, I'm also going to make one that is 40 centimeters and 65 centimeters. That's big. The wider one, I think it's like, I can remember 16 inches by See, that's not so good. I'm not really like <laughs> in the inches, but it's more uh, like a straight pillow, not square like this one. So yeah, I'm working on that at the moment and I hope to get them in the shop in a, in a couple of uh, days or maybe a week or so. Um, my partner Simon is coming home and I have to quarantine so it's perfect. That's a perfect so, time to finish. Yeah, I can sew. So that's great. Yeah, so that's a little bit about my shop. I I sew and um, yeah, make really cool stuff. I love your stuff. I'm excited to get um, a pillow. And for those of you who know Drew, she's a moderator in the group and she has been to Amsterdam, I don't know, more times than Martine. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yes. And I live really close by. <laughs> she even has a tattoo. Yes. You should ask, everybody ask Drew about her tattoos. I think if she visits a country a certain number of times, she gets it tattooed somewhere. I. I don't remember entirely, but Drew, you should tell us in the comments what you do. Yeah, and um, if you have tips for Amsterdam, besides getting a pillow for me, then uh, <laughs> if you want Amsterdam tips, go to Drew, not to me. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing. I'm so excited. Love having your uh, store on the shop. Um, Thank your you for store having name. Me is I had to look it up just to make sure handmade by Martine so if you would like to see Martine's masks or uh, follow up and see her pillows you go to girlswhotravelshop.com and then under the vendors tab you can look up her shop or you can search for masks it'll come up that way too Um, there is lots of other really beautiful products all made by women just like Martine all over the world Um, And if you are someone who makes something that is travel inspired, we want you to sell on the shop as well. There's no cost to sign up and there's no cost to list your items. So it's a risk-free opportunity to share your wonderful handmade items with the world. Um, If you have any questions about any of that, you feel free to reach out to me or just go to girlswhotravelshop.com. Thank you so much, Martine. It was so fun talking to you. Same. Talk to you later.